I didn't really know what I was expecting when I left San Francisco on my way to Kazakhstan. I didn't even know if and why it was worth going to in the first place, but when I was presented an opportunity to visit the country, I accepted immediately. So begins our next adventure of discovery and exploration in a shockingly surprising country that was never on my radar. Now let me put it on yours. Hey guys, today I am in Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan. I've actually been traveling around the eastern region of Kazakhstan for the last week and we just came back to the capital today because I'm attending a tourism conference here in the capital and I'm going to be a speaker. I only have one day here so I don't really have time to explore Nur Sultan as much as I would like to. This morning we have a couple cultural activities planned for us so I'm really excited to learn more about the Kazakhstan culture and especially eat more of the food, very important. I really don't have that much time because I have to go practice a little bit before I speak and I'm just gonna well, go walk around and explore some of the sites as much as I can. I've been walking around for the last half hour and my first impressions of this city, of this beautiful, gleaming city, is just how grandeur the architecture is. It almost feels like this place is a resort city, but there are no tourists here. Astana became the new capital of Kazakhstan in 1997, so the glittering skyscrapers and stunning monuments were built only in the last 20 years. What I quickly learned from my Kazakh friends was that Astana was renamed to Nur Sultan earlier this year after the only leader Kazakhstan has had since their independence in 1991, President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. Nur Sultan resigned in March 2019 after a shocking 30 years of presidency. The modern architecture in the capital is stunning, but very much unlike the rugged and rural areas that we visited in the east before we came to the capital, which will be the next video. Nevertheless, this gleaming capital is where the surprise of Kazakhstan is. It is a city with zero tourists and rarely mentioned in the media. In my short, less than an hour walk around this city, the verdict is it is so developed, it's gleaming, it's immaculate. I mean, I never imagined Kazakhstan looking like this. I really just didn't know anything about it. when people lived in the yurts, they uh, kept that product, that drink, horse milk. You can try it firstly. We are about to have a very cultural Kazakh experience right now. The first thing we're doing in this morning is trying horse's milk. This is an absolutely brand new experience for me. I'm kind of nervous about it. This is what it looks like. I can't. Whoa. All right, Daniel's gonna try the horse milk with me as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so nervous. It smells pretty smoky. It does smell smoky. It smells like charcoal. Whoa. Oh god. Oh god. Is it good? Is it good? No. Daniel, let's go for your hangover. Yeah, sorry. Ready, Daniel? This is my first time trying also. No, it's from the tip. <laughs> oh my god! You have a bowl, an extra bowl. <laughs> I, man, that was rough. That was it's hard. still rough. 
Okay, that was uh, cultural experience number one. We have about 20 more to do today. Show me what you are doing, Simone. Oh my God. I try to relax from this or have this. Or just do so something like this. So you're making a cheese ball? Yeah. Okay. It's called cut. Wait. Got it. So basically we're mixing our own cheese right now. I'm gonna put gloves on and we're gonna rub it together. Yeah, sure, but it's really salty. Okay, so it's really I'm sorry. This is cow's milk. I just tried that. I wasn't very fond of it, so I'm pretty nervous to try this right now. Okay, this is um, from Camel's Milk. It's kind of like a really salty cheese. But now today will be the day of full of experience, and we are going to cook together. Are you good at cooking? So I just tried the Camel's cheese, and the verdict is it's very salty and it's very fermented. Never tried anything like it. Camel's check. Put the little. Okay. Please. A little bit more. And mix. I had no idea we would be taking a pseudo cooking class today. I'm mixing some sort of powder. I know one of them is millet. Uh, with melted butter and a little bit of sugar. It used to be not a musical instrument, but a toy for the babies. This is but really good. Now, Tastes like a grainy cookie. I'm about to try out some traditional this Kazakh clothes. Oh, sorry. We just finished learning traditional Kazakh dance while wearing this beautiful Kazakh clothing. And that was so much fun. So we are about to try what's called five finger food. It's the national dish of Kazakhstan. I think it's called five finger food because you eat it with your hands, but it has horse meat on top. And I think underneath is noodles. I'm really excited to try this. I've been hearing all about it. It's really good. Okay, I'm about to try the five finger food. Beef jerky for me. Beef jerky again? I want to oh, start with the trying the noodle. Thing, yeah? It's incredible. This is delicious. Oh, okay, I'm about to try the horse meat now. <sighs> There's a bunch of fat dripping off of it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I just love, um, I just love eating food. Mm. Wow. You feel it by your finger. It's very lean. You feel it in your mouth. And <laughs> the fat is very no juicy. It's very tasty. What's this? Is this noodle? I like it horse. Yeah. Yeah. It's delicious. It's so the verdict is that, yeah. but do you think that five the, finger food. At the airport, it's it great. Possible? Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can eat a little bit more. Yeah, okay. he knows. room. I have about three hours to prep for this lecture, kind of winging it, and I'm making my presentation right now. I was assigned to talk about my journey becoming a YouTuber. It's not much to prep because I pretty much know my whole story, obviously, but I'm going to try and make it a very like open forum where anyone can ask whatever questions they have about what I do, how I got to where I am, Hopefully it is useful for some people because I'm going to be having a live translator So I'll be able to say a couple sentences, but then I'll have someone translate it. Hopefully it goes well I don't really get nervous about public speaking anymore because I used to do it in my last job before I started YouTubing So I don't really have public speaking jitters But I just want to make sure that what I'm going to talk about is useful and insightful and helpful for anyone who comes to my talk these vlogs are going to be a little bit out of order because when we were traveling in East Kazakhstan there was no service, no Wi-Fi, no signal. Uh, we were in a very remote region. The next vlog will be traveling around the beautiful areas of East Kazakhstan. So, okay, well, wish me luck, you guys, and I will see you on the next vlog.